the program this morning. We, like I said earlier, I have with me a special guest, Ikenga John Jude Okere, a businessman, a political activist, a sports philanthropist, a man that has given all uh, within him to ensure that the youth of Imo State are self-reliant in every, any way that he can. So today we are looking at democracy, democracy since 1999 to date. Wow, how far have we failed about democracy? Have we uh, I have to democracy to be alive? We said it's a nascent democracy. Oh, democracy, which is internationally acclaimed, which is the best way of running a state, a country, or an association where people, the will of the people supersedes and narrates what happens to them and how they live. In another word, it is the government of the people by the people for the people, which means that the functioning heart, the heartbeat of the democracy is the people. The people is the engine of democracy. And if democracy will keep staying alive in our country, Nigeria, which also means that the people will have to take charge. The people will have to say, this is our role. This is our responsibility. It is us, our will that determine what will happen to us and how it will happen to us. It is the people that will continue to navigate the narratives of the kind of democracy who have lots of okay okay let's take for instance let me let me, let me give you a, a narrative so that uh, uh, we can understand what uh, where I'm going. If you if you send if you send a young boy to the next shop to go and buy you a bottle of granite, remember you have sent him you have given him money. Now when he gets to that shop, if he sees three or four bottles of granite on the shelf. He will choose the one he thinks is the best granite on that shelf. He might take the burnt one. He might even take a granite that air has entered and is soft. He might take the good one, right? What am I driving at? What I'm driving at is that once as an individual, as a people, you put responsibility under the care of one person, that person runs based on his discretion. That person runs based on his technical know-how. That person runs based on his exposures. That person runs based on his moral standards. Which means that if you set up a thief and give him responsibility, that person will function within the values and, and uh, uh, functionalities of a thief. If you send somebody who is inexperienced, that person will also function and take decisions on behalf of the people based on his lack of experience, right? Now, over the years, we have brought in people who have imported both a militarized type of democracy and a lease agreement type of democracy in our system. And the people has kept, have kept quiet. If we will continue having a democracy that is robust, that will serve the interest of the people, the people will have to rise up and define the direction for the kind of democracy they want. Because the leadership of every country, the leadership of every uh, state, the leadership of every association is a reflection of the will of the people under that leadership. 